take me through those last few Okay, minutes. it was under uh, eight seconds. So there's not a coach in America that doesn't work on, uh, may not every day, but uh, enough to know who to give the ball to. Um, if you follow if you follow our program, you know how many times we've been in that position, and it's worked out well for us. You got Jamal in a broken court. I saw we won at Memphis last year on their senior night. Uh, I didn't want to call timeout, but not in a million years that I think we were not going to throw it back to Jamal. Not in a million years that I um, think that. I mean, the kid that had it was probably been the last guy that we would have put the ball in his hands. But um, um, we just made a mistake there. You know, I feel bad for the kid. You know, you, you, you know, as a coach, I can never lose sight of the fact that all these kids I coach are great kids. They're somebody's son. And they don't want to mess up. But, uh, you know, people will focus on that one play and, and um, decide the game. But we just missed a one and one. We also had a one and one, right? Just made one of them. Um, you know, we, we, we fought, uh, our kids fought. I mean, we were in foul trouble the entire first half. We're up 10 or 11, whatever it was. Uh, then we go into halftime, then we come back, get down again, come back and go up. Um, I can't remember what we were up. I think at one point, what was our biggest lead there at the end? 12. Um, no, it wasn't 12. I said at the end. It was what? Four or five. Yeah, four or five, something like that. So, no, we, we had a good chance to win this game. I mean, we were right there. But um, Tennyson kid hit some big threes. Kudos to him. Uh, you know, we didn't play as good a defense as I would have liked, but TCU is also a very good offensive team. But, um, you know, we played two road games, 0-2, uh, and, and uh, we've been in the position to win them both. So, got to go go home, get ready, and uh, play a big home game. Kelvin, what do you attribute the lesser defense to? Them being really, really good. Um, and um, they don't have... J1 and uh, if you're going to play J1 and um, Javier together, um, I'm okay with um, I'm okay with um, J1 guarding a kid like Miller. You know, I, I don't I know Miller had a couple baskets tonight, but I thought we did a great job on him. It was. Uh, um, the roller and then the skip pass to the corner. Uh, Tennyson made a couple of those threes. Um, um, you know, if you asked me, if you'd have told me that we were going to hold them to eight fast break points, for instance, I said, okay, we're probably going to win this game. But, um, you know, uh, we, you know, we, we got to shoot the ball better. I'm sure Jamie, Jamie, you know, they go eight for 15 from the three. We go four for 18. We had a couple of tough looks, but we also had a lot of wide open looks we didn't make. So uh, it's not a difficult game. It's a real simple game. You know, we played good enough to win. Um, uh, we didn't. I wish we could have done this, this, and this better, but I wish uh, um, we could have got the ball in Jamal's hands who late game situation, that's what we work on. Don't call timeout. Get to Jamal, get to the sidelines. Let Maul attack the middle of the floor. And uh, hopefully we learn from that. Go to Jamie and then Jamie, Coach, you mentioned a little bit about four of 18 from three tonight. What was TCU doing defensively that challenged you guys on the perimeter? Well, uh, <laughs> you know, it's um, LJ Cryer's a really good shooter. He, he had a lot of wide open looks, you know, so, um, and they're, and they're long too now. I mean, they're athletic and they're long, but I, I was happy with our looks, especially his. And we ran some set plays. Uh, we got him a wide open look in both corners. Um, you know, it was just one of those nights, you know, he's, 
he's uh, struggling to make open shots right now. So we'll, we'll stay with him, though. Kelvin, going back to that last sequence when they scored, I think it was six seconds left. Six point seven. Did you say that you wanted a timeout? No way I was not going to call a timeout. Zero chance. If you call timeout there, now Jamie gets to substitute who he wants. He gets to get his defense set. Now we got to start from zero and go uh, and, and get going against the set defense. They're going to switch one through five. Whereas as soon as the ball went in, get it out, get it to Jamal. Now it's a broken defense. It's it's a broken court. Um, we did that. Um, uh, we, we won a game at Wichita State a few years ago doing that. We won a game at. Uh, Memphis doing that, not calling timeout purposefully, purposely not calling timeout. Because um, I knew exactly what the other coach would do. You know, I would hope the other coach would call timeout. That would really help me if I was the opposing coach. But um, we just made a boneheaded play. I don't know what else to call it. Coach, I know that it's still just three games in, but what's your, what are your early observations of life in the Big 12? We should be 3-0. Could easily be 3-0. Um, but we're not. So we move to the next game. Any other questions? Kelvin, it looked like y'all were running things through Juwan tonight. You really mm -hmm. wanted him to, mm -hmm. to shoot the ball. Uh, can you talk Score about it. Not, not score. Yeah, score. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. And the fact that he never got a foul call. Maybe the... Well, I'm not going to touch that with a 10-foot okay. stick. But uh, it's a good point. Life on the road may happen. May do the same thing when they come to our place. You know, you get you get nine of these chances, and uh, you know uh, we're up one on the road at Iowa State, tough place to play. Th three minutes ago, it's a tie score. Thirty seconds to go. Uh, today, we're up five or six, up three, up two. Get the ball. Just um, some of it's. Just got to make the right play at the right time. Sometimes it's not overly complicated. But uh, uh, this team's going to still win a bunch of games. It's, um, um, Jamie's done a great job here. He really has. He's, Jamie's done a great job. Of course, Jamie does a great job wherever he goes. And TCU's very talented. We've got great athletes. We've got great length. But uh, I really like my team. Because we didn't win today doesn't mean we came in here with a really good team, and we're leaving with a really good team, too. So I like my team. Last question. Kelvin, to, to kind of weather the first half with Jamal yeah. off the bench, rhythm-wise, or when you're on the bench that long, did that affect him in the second half, or is it tough to kind of come off the bench like that when you sat so long? Maybe, maybe so. I mean, I mean, it's a good question. But uh, I thought Jamal was just fine the second half. Sorry, you know, it's, it, I thought he was just fine the second half. You know, obviously we're a lot better with him on the floor. You know, we try to be aggressive with our defense, but um, you know, we've had games where those the game gets you know, the whistle is a little bit looser. A tight whistle like that obviously does not benefit us. And then, but you know, we have to adjust. That's not blaming the finger at the officials. You know, we've got to do a better job adjusting ourselves.